Hi, Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio. Uh, with a little look at a uh, commission I've been working on of some British and French um, artillery for the Peninsular War. Uh, so looking at 1809, 1810-ish uh, for the period. Um, both the British and French have um, foot artillery on the outside and horse artillery. The uniforms are a bit different and we'll look closer at them in just a second. Uh, these are all 18 millimeter uh, AB miniatures with some uh, battle honours um, limbers for the British and the French. Um, this is an AB ammunition um, caisson for the French and an AB ammunition cart for the British. Um, battle honours and AB um, both have the same sculptor. Um, battle honours coming first. Um, but these 15mm British especially are a lot smaller than the 18mm um, AB French. But there's not that much difference between the battle honours French um, and the AB French. The uniforms of the French artillery train are a bit different to uh, the gunners in front. More of a um, grey look to them. I've seen it referred to as steel grey. With uh, imperial blue facings. And if we look closer at the horse artillery, on the left as we look at it with the plumes. The uniform's um, a little more embellished than the foot. We've got some um, red epaulettes. Really good, the models as well. Um, they're carrying their swords. Cavalry swords with a, a curved blade. Foot artillery. We do have a, a saber. More likely to see them with uh, packs on their backs. Why horse and why foot? Sort of gives a explanation of which parts of the army they uh, supported. The horse artillery in support of the cavalry might be expected to move around uh, the battlefield um, more rapidly and therefore had smaller guns. So we can see um, six pounders and a howitzer as opposed to eight pounders and a howitzer as well. Um, the foot artillery keeping pace with the infantry. Now over longer distances, um, horse and foot artillery um, would be moved uh, by limbers. Where you've got four or six horses depending on the size of the gun um, and it would be hooked up to the back there. And move around the battlefield. British horse artillery. You can see them with their nice uh, tartans, the crested helmet with a big black plume on it, a uh, white plume, sorry, alongside the black comb. Um, again, cavalry sabres carried by the British just like the French. It's more elaborate um, lace on the front of the jacket. It's short tailed. Now if we compare that to the foot, um, we can see that there's a, a longer jacket with some red turnbacks. There is some uh, lacing on the front of the model, but not as <clears throat> elaborate um, as the 
place on the horse artillery. Um, as this is the Peninsular War period, um, <clears throat> the foot artillery has stovepipe shackles and white overalls. And by the time of the Hundred Days campaign, you'd be looking at Belgic shackles um, and grey overalls. Um, maybe want to know that the, the basing material I've used here is from Geek Gaming Scenics. It's the Mediterranean soil mix. And I hope that's been a, a nice look at some um, artillery for both the British and French in about 1809. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.